Okay, the question has been asked um, on how you go into the row below. The pattern, the particular pattern the person was asking about is you work in the round. And the stitch pattern is you have to work in the row below. Well, before you can work in the row below, you have to work in the back loop only. So what I did was I did a row of single crochet and I just did a small circle here just to so you get the idea. So your second row, you want a single crochet in the back loop only, just like so. And um, when you go in the back loop only, see this little ridge here? That's the free loop of the row below. And then, so I'm going to go around here. I think I only have about 10, maybe 12 single crochet in my circle. This isn't making anything particular. This was referring to a pattern that someone had a question about on Ravelry. And so I am making this video to answer that question. Okay, go in this last single crochet here. Now I don't know if the pattern has you slip stitch or not, but I'm going to for this. I'm going to slip stitch and then chain one. And um I'm going to just single crochet maybe in three. Then it wants you to single crochet in the row below. So I'm going to do my third single crochet. And the single crochet in the row below, you can see I did three. So I have to go one, two, three. And the fourth one, you just take your hook and you scoop it underneath that stitch like so. And you draw up your loop. And you want to draw it up just a little longer because you want to have your stitch even with the ones above it. And then you single crochet. And then you skip that one behind it. And you single crochet in the next three. And I believe for pattern you did a popcorn or a cluster stitch or something like that. But this is just to demonstrate row below. So I'm going to go in the next three. And then I'm going to single crochet in the row below. So it's one, two, three. I skipped. So I've got to go into this one. With this hook here, I like to turn it this way and scoop it up underneath, underneath like so. And then you draw up your loop. You want to draw this leg of this loop up a little further so that it'll be even with the ones next to it. And you make a single crochet. And so that is how you go in the row below. Now, there are other patterns where you make a stitch and you skip some stitches and then go into the row below. So I am going to work, finish this round on this one, and slip stitch into here. Chain one. Okay, here we're going to go, I'm going to single crochet in two. And then a chain one and skip one, single crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to go into two, chain one, skip one, go into next two. This will be another way you go in the row below, depending on your pattern. Should two. Chain one, skip one, slip stitch. Okay, another pattern may have you do that where you skip a stitch. Then I'm going to single crochet in the first two. And where the chain space is, you want to go in the row below. Okay, in this case, some patterns want you to go into that stitch and go around that chain that you skip, that chain space, and do your single crochet row below that way. And then you single crochet across. Other patterns will want you to go in the stitch in the row below, catch it up, and make the chain behind it. Leave that chain behind it, and single crochet that way. And some, the reason you do that is so that you can work into that chain space later. So those are three different ways of going into the row below. Let me show you these last two again. 
single crochet. One way is to go into the stitch below it and work around the chain space that you that you made. The other way, single crochet two, is to go in the stitch, but make sure you hold that chain out of the way and make your single crochet in the row below. And that's the end of that round. So um, this is the first method I showed you is where you went back loop only and you single crochet in the row below. This one is the second method where you did a chain one space and you single crocheted around the space and went to the row below. And this one is the third way where you held the chain behind it and you went into the row below that chain to make it. So those are three methods of going in row below. The particular question that was asked on Ravelry is the first one I showed you. So I hope this clears up a few things and happy crocheting.